Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be talking about Feeds Tamper. And Feeds Tamper allows you to really manipulate your feed that's being brought in. So let's say you have a feed um, of any type, but the data isn't just quite exactly what you'd like. Um, you can manipulate that data while it's importing instead of having to go back and change it or anything like that. Uh, and as Feeds Tamper uh, gives in its examples, you can replace every instance of the word dog with cat. You can filter items based on keywords and vocabularies, make every layer uppercase. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to do that because you could do that with CSS, but um, break a comma separate into lists into words, including taxonomy terms. So if you have a list of comma uh, separated values, you, you know, you can have those be taxonomy terms. Um, you can combine separate first name and last name fields into one name field. You can convert URLs from relative to absolute. So there's all sorts of cool stuff you can do. And uh, really, if you uh, need to modify your feed in any way, Feeds Tamper is pretty much the way to do it. Okay? So by now, you should know how to install a module. I have my module in my modules folder. I'm going to go to uh, Feeds here, and I'm going to select Feeds Tamper and Feeds Tamper UI, and I'm going to save. And uh, yeah, because without the UI, you can't really get much done. So now let's check out our feed. So here's the RSS feed we're going to be importing, and let's check out some of this stuff. Um, so let's say we wanted to just get uh, some specific content we want to edit. This wasn't looking as good as we wanted. Okay, so where we're going to go from structure is into tamper, which should now be under your operations. So if you click this, it's going to tell you a little bit uh, of information here. So what we were bringing in before is the title is going into title and then the description tag is going into the body. So if we check out our feed, here's the description and here's the title. Really our only two things. Uh, well, let's try to modify these things. So let's add a plugin to the title to see how we can modify this. So you can have it be a keyword filter. Um, you can strip all the HTML, make URLs absolute, all the stuff I was showing you before under their examples. Um, calculate a hash value, uh, rewrite it. So let's actually do something really obvious. We're going to um, truncate. And how many numbers do we want this text to be limited to? We'll say uh, we'll say it's five characters, okay? And we'll add ellipses. So this is just for fun. I wouldn't actually want to do this. But let's say you didn't want to bring in this whole thing and you just wanted to truncate it and add ellipses. Okay, so now that value is actually going to come in truncated. And let's add something for the description as well. Let's go to, um, actually, let's see what kind of keyword there is in this feed. So the word album shows up sometimes. So we have this filter on album, and it's going to look for any word, uh, any item that has the word album in the description. And it's only going to tamper those ones. So we're saying if it has an album, we want to uh, change it to you know, have the ellipses. In a real life situation, maybe you could have the title change to be something like album release in your content. Um, but in this case, we're just going to have it add the ellipses and if the word album is contained in our content, in our, our description content. Now we're just going to save this. And now let's try running our importer. So let's save this. I guess it might have been already saved. And let's go to structure, uh, feeds importers again, uh, our RSS feed, and uh, let's actually run this. So our domain slash import. Uh, now we're going to select the RSS, click import, and let's see what happens. Okay, let's check out our, our nodes. So it says 14 total items are imported. And let's go to find content so we can see what they are. And you can see it's already working great because um, we have these items here. The title has been uh, ellipsed, and we can tell why. Um, those ones are going to be the ones that have the word album. So let's actually look. Whole album is out now, okay? And let's go back, let's check out this one. Oh, an album is available on this one as well, okay? So let's check out these ones that didn't get filtered. Let's check out this one right here. And if we search for album, okay, you're not going to find album. So really, it's tampering only the ones that have the word album. 
Okay, well, those are two quick examples of what we can do with Feeds Tamper. Really, the, the power of Feeds Tamper is just playing with it. And if you know that the content that's coming in um, needs to be changed in some way, I would recommend checking out Feeds Tamper and just really trying out and just seeing what can work for you. Um, I found it to be very successful anytime I need to modify a feed coming into my site. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment on the video. Hit us up at Twitter, LevelUpTuts. Uh, my name's Scott, and once again, thanks for watching.